In this video, we will show you the exact steps to make a standard iceberg rose plant by using a long rootstock cutting. Hi, I'm Dr. Elsa Toy from Agriculture Academy, where we teach people how to start a profitable business in agriculture. If you are interested in starting a plant nursery, then download our free ebook. The link can be found in the description below. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell button if you enjoy our videos. In this part of two videos, we will show you the exact steps to make and root a long rootstock cutting that is needed for standard rows. Stay tuned to the end of the video as we have a special gift for you. Let's get started. Propagating standard roses is an extremely valuable skill that any horticulturalist or hobbyist can master. Before we get into the details of propagation, let's have a quick recap on the botany of a standard rose. The rose plant can be divided into two parts. The lower part is called the rootstock and the upper part is called the scion. As the name suggests, the rootstock contains the root system and the lower parts of the plant stem. The scion includes the upper parts of the stem, the leaves and the flowers. The rootstock and the scion of all commercially propagated rose plants will most likely belong to different cultivars. Rootstocks are often favoured for their ability to withstand disease and pests. Scion cultivars, on the other hand, are mainly chosen based on their flower's appearance and their growth habit. For rootstock propagation you are going to need long stems taken from the mother plant belonging to the cultivar you wish to propagate your rootstock from, a sharp pair of secateurs or scissors, a pair of gloves, a sharp knife, an all-purpose fungicide, some rooting hormone and a pot filled with rooting medium or soil. Rootstocks are most commonly propagated by cuttings. From your mother plant, cut a stem that is about 1 cm thick. The length of the cutting can vary anywhere from 10 cm to 1 m, depending on your preferences. Pop on your gloves and strip the stem, leaving the top two leaves. You will then need to remove all of the buds along the stem using a sharp knife. Any buds that remain intact can regrow and lead to bushy growth, which is unsuitable for standard roses. After you have removed all of the buds, soak the cuttings in fungicide. Then dip the cut ends into some rooting hormone and place in some soil so that the roots can start to grow. After about six weeks in a warm, humid environment, you can expect your rootstocks to look something like this. Once sufficient root development has occurred, you can move on with the budding of the scion wood. We hope you have enjoyed the video. As promised, we have a gift for you in the form of an infographic. Get the link in the description below. In our following video, part two, we will bud the appropriate scion material on our rooted cutting and finish our standard rows, ready to sell. Make sure you are subscribed not to miss out on this part. See you soon!